inspirational mom, a woman who's remained steadfast, who's remained focused in spite of all the distractions. Auntie Obi, please, would you kindly do us the honors of the next event? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just want to be able to introduce our dear Auntie Grace and Lele Williams. Auntie Grace, Professor Grace and Lele Williams, was the girl child as a woman that my generation knew in this country. Every father that was in any way literate and those that had no idea of how to read ABC only cited Professor Grace Alele Williams speaking with distinction and authority and they decided that their daughters needed to get educated. Professor Alele Williams chattered glass ceiling in our country because Professor Alele Williams was a woman of many force. It was normal for some time to see that women could be ministers, they could be directors, they could be managers. But the novelty for us was when a woman, professor of mathematics, became a vice chancellor of one of our highly rated universities in Nigeria the University of Benin. The younger generation may not know any of these, but my generation sitting at home or in this hall know that when you spoke of women with great distinction, intellectually, Professor Alele Williams came to the top of the rung. I had to love mathematics because Auntie Grace Alele Williams became an obsession for my father to getting me to love mathematics. And if it took He's having to teach me mathematics for most of the time that I would love to be as constant books and reading. He did it. And so I don't know about you that are part of the generation that knew the chairperson of our event today, but she represents a great symbol of what a real nation that values character, that values competency, that values capacity, will celebrate. We brought her to be the chair of this event in order to offer us the opportunity to celebrate one woman who has not been celebrated enough for the kind of a trendsetter that she was for women in this society. Please join me in welcoming with warm applause, Professor Grace Alele Williams as she offers the chairperson's opening remarks. Auntie Grace is 84, and she came here 
as a demonstration of her love for the girl child in our country. Please celebrate this woman of distinction. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please bear with me. I have to repeat this because in 1958, very, very far away, I had to make a difficult decision. My teacher, Chiki Obi. had once told me that perhaps the best thing in life is to make decisions and keep to them when you are in great trouble. My trouble was I wanted to study mathematics, but each time I started studying mathematics, I remembered that I usually was the only one in the class and it wasn't pleasing. Each time there was no other companion and each time you moved forward, you studied. You had more knowledge about something which you could see was so tremendous. But at the same time, you came from a nation where most of my classmates from primary one started falling out of the way. Fewer girls in primary two, fewer girls in primary three, no comrade in primary six, none in primary five. Mainly two reasons. One, the ch girl child was not so important, she could go and marry, and she could be thrown into a, a marriage. However, the boy child had your name, it prospered. And as you know, the girl child, if she dared to get to primary six, would get married, and your name is lost. And in Nigeria, we need our names to be carried forward. But that was not the most important thing. The most important thing was the emphasis for me was going to be more and more knowledge about something which was very, very important for me. But if I didn't give it up, I would lose a lot. And on the other hand, I could get less knowledge of it, but I could also go on to find out how those things happened. But the important thing for me was to make sure that many more children were in school. If many more children were in school, especially in my country, and that was 1958. It would mean many more girls in school. Would I teach best mathematics up to the university level with what I had? The answer was yes, because I was doing it. And I did it to make sure I had enough money to go to school. But if I did mathematics education, I was going to do it and walk on a path which meant more and more children would remain in school and many more of us of my kind would do more mathematics and more education. And so that December, I made the decision 
because the decision meant I could go on.